All right, so I gotta make this quick. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Aisha G and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for watching and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I'm just gonna make this um video today. When I woke up this morning, I already knew that it was gonna be a busy day of vending machine work. Okay, but not too long after I woke up, I got a call from one of my locations saying that there was a lot of water on the floor under the soda machine. Immediately, I already knew that today was gonna be a crazy day. So I was like, let me just record it and just show y'all what happened. I haven't saw the water yet, but I'm headed in there now. So I brought a whole bunch of towels. I already called the mechanic. The mechanic is gonna come around. He said, give him like 10.30 because he had another job to do to let him let me know if he's gonna come for sure. But um, he is gonna come today. So the tiles are gonna have to work until he gets here. All right, I'm about to head in and I'll take y'all with me. Y'all know we gotta put this mask on, child. Okay. All right, so this is the water. I see they tried to like mop it up a little bit, but it didn't really work. I told her to unplug it, so it's unplugged. Y'all, people drive so crazy in Houston, like for real. I'm in the parking lot of Sam's right now. I'm about to head in. I need to get some products for the machine. So I did end up calling my mechanic again and just, you know, confirming that the issue was the issue. So when I got there, I was expecting a lot more water, but I guess any type of water that's leaking from your machine is the issue. So I didn't mind um, calling my mechanic and I told him this this is the issue. It is leaking water or whatever. And he was like, okay, give me about 30 minutes. At 10.30, he was gonna call me back to let me know what time he'll be headed this way. But you know, people ain't never on time, so yeah that part so i'm just about to get some products that i need for the machine so while i'm waiting for him i can just stock the machine up and stuff a few products are getting low here's the parking spot let's go back all right so i'm about to go ahead head into sam It's so hard to talk with this thing on. I hate it. Okay, so in this location, like the snacks that I'm putting in there, not everything is being touched. So what I wanna do is switch it up a little bit. So I don't have any, I have all kinds of like chips in here. I don't have anything hot. Some people like hot chips, including me. So I'm gonna get some hot chips and just put those in there and see what happens. I decided to get these. So it's 30 in here, all different kinds. And the unit price is 46. Currently in Sam's and trying not to be copyrighted. So that's the reason why I haven't been talking much, but I'm just in line waiting to check out so I can go ahead and get this, um, so I can go ahead and get this, these chips because I'm ready to go. <laughs> I think it's a good thing that people can't see my face under this mask because I'm like irritated. I didn't think that it was gonna take this long in Sam's on a Tuesday. I stand corrected. Oh, it's actually 11.50 a.m. I still have not heard from the mechanic. He said that he was gonna call me at 10.30 and that was a lie. So, still waiting for that. Like I said, I already had a busy day today with these machines and stuff. So, I'm not gonna just sit around and wait for them. I told the owner, I asked her, you know, if we could just leave the machine off until I get a hold of him and see when he can come fix it. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. We can just leave it off. I'll make sure nobody messes with it and stuff like that. So, and here's the thing about 
about this vending machine stuff. It's all cool and fine and stuff until you run into a problem like this where you need a mechanic or you have to rely on somebody else. Because let's be honest, when you have to rely on somebody else, you you own their time. So it's like, you can't get mad if they like, oh yeah, I'ma come and don't come. That's why I understand why people be trying to learn how to do stuff themselves because you don't have to rely on nobody, you don't have to pay nobody, you can just do, you know, what you gotta do. Take care of it. I'm just waiting for him. Um, I'm about to go and head to this other location. My other location where I have my candy machine is doing a grand opening this weekend. So I'm going to make sure that the machine is good, you know, it's wiped down, it's clean, it's ready to be used and stuff like that. And yeah. I'm hoping that eventually I get a call from him and let me know something because I just don't like this. I feel like it's so unprofessional. If you say you're going to call me at a certain time, then call me at that time or just wait a little. I mean, even if you can't call me exactly at that time, just let me know something. Send me a text like, hey, I'm going to call you later or I don't have no answer for you or something. I don't like that. I feel like that's bad business. It's bad business. To like record while I was at the location of with my candy machine, but I did take a few boomerangs and like pictures, so I might just put that there. So you know that the um grand opening for that location is this weekend. I just wanted to wipe it down, clean it down, and also I did place my business cards on the machine so that um they will look you know it'll look nice. So if anybody wants to get some business cards and stuff, then if anybody wants services, they say, oh, this is nice. This is cute. I like this. Who, you know, where you get this from? My card is right there. So, like, that's smart. So, I did speak to the mechanic um, eventually. He called me and said that he had a stop, but then he was going to, you know, be at the location to fix my machine. And, which is good because I do need that fixed. And I was just waiting for him to call me back. So, since he finally called me back, um, I'm just headed to the location now so that I can meet him there. I still have to stock up my chips that I got in the back seat and I have to change the labels because I'm changing the prices also. The chips that's in there right now only cost 75 cents and I feel like it's not moving, like nobody's buying it. So I'm gonna switch out another product and I'm also gonna change the price. So I got my label maker and I'm going to fix it, change it and see what happens. As I mentioned before, when you working on somebody else's time, it's really like annoying. I've been waiting on the mechanic all day. I talked to him almost an hour ago, and he was like, yeah, um, I'm just leaving the house now. I have to go pick something up really quick, and then I'm headed your way. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go across town real quick because I need to go over there anyways to work. And by the time I'm finished, then hopefully, you know, you'll be done. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I should be, you know, almost there by that time just called him he was like yeah I still I have to go pick something up and I'm like you don't remember that you told me that like almost an hour and a half ago well I didn't say that of course I didn't say that to him but I did I was like I thought like dang you could have like come on now so I had to call the location the manager to see what time they closed because I didn't want to for him to go all the way over there to the location and then it's not it's like closed and I didn't want to be waiting all day for him either. So, yep, that's that. The mechanic was able to fix the machine. There's no more leaking, which is perfect. I ain't gotta worry about that no more. It was a little pricey though, but you know, hey, I'm gonna get that back. So now I have to meet this guy that's interested in buying a machine um, at the storage unit. So I'm headed there now. 
to meet him. I have to meet him at five and it is now 426. Hopefully the traffic is in my favor because I need to get to where I'm going. And I didn't expect it to take that long for me to get the machine fixed and all of that. So I'm finally headed there. Hopefully everything goes well. So I'll keep y'all updated. Tired, y'all. I'm tired. Tired, and I ain't even done yet. All right, y'all. So here's the update. It is now about 5:45 p.m., and I had a meeting at five to meet with a customer who was interested in um, buying—not buying, but um, renting or leasing a vending machine. So I talked to him. Um, Everything's good with that. I'm actually waiting on a mechanic right now so that he can make sure that the vending machine is all good and make sure that the vending machine is good so that, you know, we can pass it off to the customer because you never wanna like pass off a vending machine to somebody else and it got a whole bunch of work that needs to be done because then you got more problems because now you gotta call out a mechanic again to see, we ain't got them issues. We ain't got the problems. We don't want them. So now I'm just waiting for the guy to come and um, fix the machine or just look at it or something. Like, I'm just tired. I'm so tired. I've had a long day. I'm just ready for it to be over. That's it. Woo. Okay, so it's raining. I'm gonna make this real quick. All right, so here's my update on the um, vending machine day or whatever because it's finally over finally over the mechanic came out and he fixed what he needed to fix he looked at whatever he wanted to look at whatever whatever and everything is good the machine is ready to be moved so i'm gonna contact the customer tonight or maybe early in the morning and just let him know that it's ready for him and that's it i had a crazy day i had two machines that needed to be fixed and a mechanic who was on his own time it's been a day to say the least it's been a day with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and delete delete see I'm tired y'all I'm gonna go ahead and end this video I appreciate everybody for watching make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later Goodbye.